Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to welcome all of you to the launch of the ABSA Africa Financial Markets Index 2023, organized together with the Official Monetary and Financial Institution Forum, OMFIF. This meeting is taking place at a significant moment in time. 2023 marks the halfway point to the deadline set for accomplishing the SDGs. Among other factors, the COVID-19 pandemic, surging inflation, and geopolitical turbulence have substantially worsened the prospects of realizing the Sustained Development Goals and the African Union's Agenda 2063. One of the core challenges towards achieving this critical agenda is the financing gap. For instance, the cost of transport and service infrastructure required to enable the implementation of the African continental free trade area is about $500 billion. Moreover, due to more frequent extreme weather events and changes in weather patterns attributable to climate change, Africa alone is estimated to require up to $86 billion annually to implement adequate adaptation measures by 2030. These are just two examples from a long list of investment needs. To close the financing gap, African countries will need to make better use of their domestic capital and gain greater access to global capital. For example, African pension funds should be incentivized to invest locally. Special purpose vehicles, or SPVs, should be created accordingly. These SPVs would equally enable the harnessing of remittances from the diaspora to channel into more productive investments. All of this requires deeper, healthier, more efficient, and more inclusive financial markets. Strengthening financial markets and diversifying the investor base will not only enable governments to mobilize more funding for economic recovery and sustained development, but also enhance financial resilience to future shocks. To foster the development of their financial markets, countries require a comprehensive approach, encompassing capacity building, robust infrastructure, essential reference tools, benchmarks, and opportunities for peer learning. The ABSA Africa Financial Markets Index has proven highly valuable in offering insights to countries which aid policy making and guide the prioritization of financial market development initiatives. Notably, this year's edition of the index covers 28 countries, marking a significant milestone as it includes more than half of the continent's countries for the first time. At the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, we are delighted to have supported Cabo Verde and Tunisia in their inaugural participation in the index. The index assesses market across six pillars, namely market depth, access to foreign exchange, market transparency, tax and regulatory environment, capacity of local investors, macroeconomic environment and transparency, and legal standards and enforceability. As we witness the rapid emergence of new opportunities and challenges, the index has evolved to reflect emerging trends, including those related to financial technology and environmental, social, and governance policies. ECA takes great pride in this successful collaboration with the OMFIF and APSA. We have found the index to be an important tool for informing policy decisions and facilitating peer learning as part of our commitment to assisting member states in the development of their financial markets. Today's workshop will introduce the 2023 edition of the index, highlight the latest market updates, and address technical questions regarding data sources, methodologies, and indicator compilation. We look forward to meaningful discussions with stakeholders and anticipate 
that this event will offer an opportunity for you to contribute your insights and feedback. I extend a warm welcome to all of you and wish you productive deliberations on strategies to strengthen financial markets in Africa. Thank you.